squealing. He's killing something. Nice. Bite like a carrier now. Drive it in. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who are impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Alrighty, so today we're gonna do my first ever nutria hunt. Well, actually that's not true. Yesterday we caught a couple on accident. We were just out in the swamps, and found a couple grabbed by their tail. Little, little ones, nothing, no big deal. But today we're gonna be out. We've got my dog Boss. We got my mink Spot. He, uh, he killed one nutria so far. It was just a teeny little one, wasn't anything special. So he kind of knows what a nutria is, but let's see what he thinks of a little bigger one. Um, so we're gonna go out right now. We're, we're out in these fields, these cane fields here, looking for nutria sign, just like we do muskrats at home. And um, hopefully we'll catch some. Also today, I've got a little terrier I'm trying out. Come check her out. So this little pup I called Gremlin. She's just a little over a year old. Hasn't seen a whole lot. We got a, a armadillo with her a little later, earlier on. Seen her do a lot of tracking work. I really like about this dog is her nose. She's got an amazing little nose. She'll stick her nose to the ground like a beagle and just search and search and search and search and find stuff. Also, come down here. If you look, she's got a rather lean, athletic physique. Look at those long old legs. And she's got a nice thin little chest for squeezing down holes. And just an all around nice little dog. She's well bred but not too much experience. So I'm considering bringing her home with me. She's a what's called a Patterdale Terrier. And I'm considering bringing her home and adding her to my crew. But we'll see, I wanna get her on some Nutria today, see what she does on something a little bigger than rats. Um, she does pretty good on rats. Like I said, she's got amazing little tracking nose, nice athletic build, pretty nice little temperament to be around. But uh, let's see what she does on, on something a little more serious than an armadillo. Let's get going. To my surprise, I found that these guys down here hunt nutria much the same way I often hunt muskrats in Utah. They drive along a small waterway looking for sign out the window. Then when they see a promising looking spot, they stop to take a closer look. Look, Yeah, he just sucked his head back in. There's not going to be any rats here. <laughs> Walk away and come back, you might poke his head back out there. How big or little? About the size of what you caught last night. Man, that's too bad he went in the hole. Having an alligator ruin spots you want to hunt in sure isn't a problem we ever have in Utah. Yep. Look at that. Yep, nutria droppings. The tracks and droppings. There's a nutria here somewhere. After leaving the spot with the alligator, we found a safer location to hunt and began searching for Nutria sign. Whether he's right there. Boy, where is he? Boy, did you find a better place? Oh, there's one here. There's one here. I heard it. I heard it. We found one. Yep, we found one. Good boy, boss. Good boy. Any tips? Just put her down? Yep. She wants to go, she'll go. Either Gremlin was afraid to go down the hole after the Nutria, or I was wrong and there was nothing home. So we got an experienced terrier to check the hole for us. What'd you do with your net, Joe? This more experienced dog had the same conclusion as Gremlin, so we moved on to another area to search for Nutria. 
Okay, so we got a little spot here that's pretty tricky for the terriers. It's in this jagged cement slabs. Not really ideal to be sending a dog in. So we're gonna try the mink and see uh, if we can actually do anything with the mink on Nutria. We still don't know yet. He's down. He's killing something. Nice. I think I should have brought Mamba. Did you get one spot? As long as that one fought him, he's, this is this is a much smaller one than that first one he got. He's like he's like already dead. That other one fought him for for like at least 30 seconds. That might have been the two we saw yesterday, Skate. I mean, it's possible. Good job, Spot. Yeah, that other one had to be bigger. Look, it's dead. Like on right, impact, yeah. that other one sat fought, 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 fought. Squalled and squalled for, I don't know, 20 or 30 seconds. You can see, like, he's crushed its skull already. Bite like a terrier now. Drive it in. Good boy. Something was different, because he just killed that one on impact. Okay, go get another one. <laughs> First, like, in the hand, confirm Nutria rat with a mink. I wish we could see the bigger one, or the theoretically bigger one. Okay, go find another one. We'll see if you can find another one. We've got two here, there could easily be a third. Can't yeah, see it. I know, we can't see it yet. Third one. Third one. It likely died pretty close to here. There's the same muddy right, cloud. I can at least see one dead rat in here. So. Oh, you see it? Yeah, it's a small one though. Yeah, and he's too far to reach. The camera we, do we have the grabbers? No, it's too close to that. Okay, so we got out the second mus uh, uh, muskrat. I almost called it a muskrat. Second nutria that, that uh, Spot killed. And looks like this one's a little bigger than the first, or first one we pulled out. We don't know if this is the first one he killed or the third one he killed. There was another one right about the same area we could hear. And it put up quite a bit of fight. It took him a little bit to kill it. And this one died pretty quick. Almost as quick as the first, but not, or the, excuse me, the second, the one that we got out, but not quite. After catching the three nutria in a cement pile, we went in search of some more nutria and Cade saw a rather large individual disappear down this pipe. There he goes. This was the perfect opportunity to see what Spot would do against a much larger Nutria. We were hoping the Nutria would be afraid of Spot and be flushed into our nets, but instead it was Spot that came out of the pipe. He took one look at that big old nutria and came right back out. So we're gonna give her a try again. Once again, she's extremely inexperienced. She might not do anything. But we're gonna give little Miss Gremlin another shot. Underwater. Oh, so tight underwater. Yeah. Because it jumped at Boss when it stuck his head in. 
Come here, check, 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 check. It's back here. Look, it's back there. So unfortunately, this is all I'm going to be able to show you guys here today. Um, originally, I was planning on showing you more here on YouTube, uh, but I showed you a little teaser earlier on, and just the reactions from that one little teaser were enough to let me know that I really shouldn't be showing this on YouTube. Um, I was going to end up getting a flag. <laughs> that was very clear. Unfortunately, it's not going to be available here. You can follow the link in the description below over to my Vimeo channel where you'll be able to see the full video and other videos that I don't post here on YouTube. Um, some people have been complaining about that, but hey, look, the reality is I've been doing this for years. For years now, I've had to pick and choose what videos I put up on YouTube. The, the difference is with Vimeo, I'm able to have a lot more freedom and so I can post videos and edited parts of videos that I can't post on YouTube over there. So it's been happening for years. The only difference is before the footage was just wasted or I just showed it to a couple friends and that was it. Now you basically get an inside look, kind of like you're my best friend and I'm showing you on my cell phone. You get an inside look on videos that you won't see here on YouTube. So we had a great little hunt here, hunting down in the south, catching us some nutria. And uh, she did a pretty good job for her first little hunt and pretty proud of her and uh, spot his first time on nutria as well really happy with him he caught three uh, we got these two two little guys and we're pretty sure he caught one bigger but it just sounded bigger so you never really know for sure it took him a little bit to kill it these two he killed pretty darn quick so we're, we can only guess that there's a the third one down the hole is a little bigger than than, than the biggest one of these two but of course that's just an assumption and then little gremlin, she got a pretty decent one. Look at that, about as, about as big as her, maybe even a little bigger. Actually, let me test that. Yeah, I, I, I'm under the impression this is heavier, but it might be the way I'm holding it. Anyway, pretty good job for gremlin, her first time out getting nutria. And uh, we're gonna take her 